What's up everybody? It's your girl Vivian and I am back with another video. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, hello, please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms and don't forget to click that notification bell on the side that'll keep you alerted anytime I upload a new video. This channel is a variety of everything being talked about, whether it's health, wellness, beauty, um, fashion, technology, um, I talk about hair, uh, perfume, goalie gummies, um, health related issues, technology, just anything that's going on that's out there is going to be talked about on this channel. This channel is a variety of everything. So I do thank you to all my day ones and all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel and liking, commenting, and sharing my videos on all platforms because it does help this channel a lot. So I want to thank you to all of y'all for doing that. Okay. So this video is going to be about something that I've been hearing about a lot, which is Tiffany and Company's perfume which is the rose gold eau de perfume now i bought this in 1.6 ounce at ulta beauty and we're going to get into the fragrance notes in this one so it comes in a box like this rose gold and the pretty tiffany and company blue so it comes in that and let's get into the fragrance now all Ulta beauty is saying 1.7 ounce but on the box is saying 1.6 ounce i don't understand that but whatever so the fragrance notes and this is the bottle that it comes in now the bottle is gorgeous it, it, it really is it's very beautiful very just fancy looking it's really beautiful pretty rose gold color and if you can see on the back right here it shows you the fragrance notes inside so the fragrance notes is black currant which i do love blue rose accord and amber seed so i got mixed reviews on the website and on youtube i, I watched a couple of youtube videos so Again, we're going to put it to the test. I sprayed it on a piece of look, paper or whatever. It, it was okay. But now, I'm going to spray it on my hand. Because, Lord, this I, I don't spray so much. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this video. Well, we're already into this video. So, we're going to go ahead and put this to the test on my skin. And see how it does. So, I'm going to spray it. I'm sorry, y'all. This is my alert. Somebody's at the door. Okay. It's not too bad on the skin. Now, when I spread it early on a piece of paper, it's like, woo, woo. Woo! Because this is pretty much, let's see, it's a floral. Um, it's like this magnetic fragrance has the luminous essence of rose gold Tiffany designs. Yeah, I'm just explaining it, but vibrant magnetic, vibrant and magnetic. The overactive captivates with notes of black currant, blue rose, and amber seed. So it's not bad. No, I'm not coming. I'm not going. Sorry, y'all. So, I don't know, y'all. It's like, I want to love it. And maybe because I, I smell the black currant. It's like, I want to love this scent. But I, I just don't know. I have to take the time. I'm not wearing this at work. Because, oh, no. Oh, no. But, maybe over the weekend, if I'm not doing anything, and, you know, just sitting around... I'm going to wear it one weekend for a full day and just kind of like see how it does. I don't know. It's like, man, it's not, it's not bad, but it's something. It, it, I don't know if it's 
you know the other sense if it's the blue rose accord or the amber seed that's kind of throwing me off I don't know right now this is like one of my least favorites until one day I just wear it for like a full day to kind of see how it does now you know sometimes perfume you gotta let it settle you know sometimes when you spray it it may not be the best smell when you spray it and then like once it settles it's is better so I don't know I don't know you guys that the bottle is pretty it really is it's 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 really beautiful but I don't know y'all right now it's just one of my least favorites is but again it's not a bad thing to me it's not worth the price it, it is just not it's like I don't know you might be buying it because of the name because of the brand you know it's it's really not worth the price the, the perfume is not worth I don't know it's something it's something in there that kind of want to have like a little funky smell not really funky but it's something that's throwing me off like I want to like it but it's something else in there that's throwing me off Again, I'm not going to rule anything. See, because when it's more, see, when it's more right here, it's not, it's not as bad. It's not, well, okay. It's settling. Okay. So I have a change of heart because now since the scent is settling, it's not bad. It's like, it's a pretty scent. Okay. So I just need to give it some time. I, like seriously, all like my whole thought has changed about this perfume. I just got to give it time. Now, this is not something that it's to spray all over, you know, because some people can go haywire when it comes to perfume you know you gotta be careful some scents you can you can spray in about two to three areas some one area is good this one in about one to two areas i would probably spray it on my wrist and midsection if i spray it like around here i feel like oh lord this might trigger a headache but it's not bad is really not bad now because the scent is settling when you first spread i'm telling you it's like oof, oof. it's not bad but now that the scent is settling you know it it's a pretty scent so okay okay it is it, it, not bad okay you just gotta give it a chance you gotta wait for it to settle so it's a pretty Scent. Once it, once after you spray it, and it, it it take a while to kind of settle. It's really not bad. It's not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Is it worth the price? No. I feel like it could have been cheaper than that. I, again, is this is Tiffany and Company? You know, it's the name. That's, that's what it is. It's, it's the name and the brand. That's why it's that price. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave it down below. If you have this, the, the Tiffany & Company Rose Gold Eau de Perfume. Or if you have the other Tiffany & Company perfumes. Let me know what you guys think down below. Questions, concerns. Like I said, drop it down below in the comments. Um, any other perfume recommendations that y'all can think of that y'all want me to try leave it down below um, But I will say this don't ask me to try Tom Ford. I've tried Tom Ford and I'm not doing it No, I'm not doing any more Tom Ford's uh, Tom Ford is just not for me. It's not it's just 
is again is just there to be there because of the name and the pricing so it, 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 yeah don't even ask me to review time for because i done tried a few my last time for that i bought was um what's the name of it jasmine rouge and i cannot find it but that was the last one i bought and i was like oh no i ain't buying and they were all on blind buys i said well, no i'm not doing it nah no so oh we really oh, i was downplaying this perfume but it's really not bad it could be cheaper you know i'm just saying but Y'all, since it's settled, it's not bad. It's a nice scent. So, again, let me know what you guys think down below. If you have this, what you like, what you don't like. Let me know in the comments. And any recommendations, like I say, leave it down below in the comments of any other perfume. Now, I know I said this in my previous video. I'm going to say it again. My next one I want to try is the Givenchy. I can't pronounce the other name, but it's something rouge. I want to try that. I really want to try that. Because I've been hearing good reviews about it. So, that's another perfume I want to try. I picked up these three perfumes. I picked up the Tiffany and Company Rose Gold Eau de Perfume. The Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance Eau de Perfume. And the Ms. Dior, the new one, Eau de Perfume. So, right now, Ralph Lauren is on top and that's the one i will be wearing tonight so um it's oh man i no that's all y'all that's all i have to say thank you for watching this video i hope you have a wonderful win weekend stay safe follow the rules do what y'all gotta do y'all to protect yourselves and i hope y'all have a wonderful weekend but that's my collection as of right now that I picked up today, all three of them. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Bye, y'all.